everybody, this is Mac OS X Tutorials video screencast number 6 and I'm going to go ahead and teach you, not even teach you, I'm just going to kind of update Mac OS X Tutorials 12th channel so that, that's it and uh, he has a video called creating own custom icons and as you can see here that's the old interface to the program and I'm not going to just, he ha, you've got to watch it if you want to make your own icon because I'm not going to explain it in detail, I'm just kind of updating it because he uploaded it six hours ago, but if you go to the website, and I'll have it in the description as well, as, and I'll also have a link to his video, but, so, um, but here it is, and it's upgraded, so I'll go ahead and show you the interface of it and so this is it and you'll notice that it doesn't look anything like oh, I would not even do that but it doesn't look anything like it did here because it's just upgraded itself so what you're going to want to do is just find an image that you want and add it now he explains how you do PNGs and JPEGs I'm not going to do that I'm just going to simply add my image to this and once you add your image it will you don't have to make your folder in advance like he had a folder called I don't remember what it was called it's folder for the publics or hello the public something like that so you don't have to do that anymore you simply export it for a folder and put it on your desktop wherever you want to make this new folder with icon and it automatically make it and so this is now my folder you can also make the icon and do exactly what he did and copy and paste and change it. And so that's how you get the icon in the folder. This is great because if you follow my other tutorial on how to make a DMG, you can change your icons, such as this. Um, I'm going to minimize that window. I'm going to take my Macintosh HD folder and I want to change this icon. Now I couldn't get mine to copy and paste. If you press Command I, you'll do the get info. I couldn't get mine to select it and copy it for some strange reason. Oh, it just did it. I'm sorry. Just click on it once, copy and paste. Now to delete it, you'll click on it and press delete. And I cannot get mine. To, there it goes. It. I. I don't know why. Maybe. I don't know why. It shouldn't be anything wrong with my Mac maybe that I don't even want to think about that because there shouldn't be um, but anyway so that's how you do it you can alternatively just drag it over there that's what I do I find it to be much easier and faster just quickly drag and drop but maybe it adds the white background I don't know for sure but so delete it there it goes faster that time and yeah that's how you do it and this is a folder that is an icon and this is the program now this is the free version and so I don't have like the history feature so I can't like okay it like a feature the history I'm guessing will save this icon so if I ever want to use it again and then I don't get the iPhone icon maker and the fave icons so it's not like a big problem I mean you know I save this I know it's just an ICNS and not an ICO but yeah so I can't do a lot of that stuff but it's so much easier to do it in Photoshop I guess maybe not easier but it's just as easy for me because I use Photoshop so much but that's it and so thanks for watching this video as always goodbye